back for the uh, surprise PEC 2024 Q&A. Um, right after this Q&A, we will be doing the Movie World Q&A, uh, just so you guys are aware. Um, yes, we will be starting the Q&A now. Question is, what is your favorite Roblox theme park? Well, um, I can give I can give mine, and then Cedar, do you want to give yours as well? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Yeah, um, uh, I, I still think, for me, Universal Studios Roblox is probably still my favorite Roblox theme park, um, mainly due to that, that uh, ability to find... Um, uh, the realism mixed with the gameplay and obviously uh, having the famous uh, IP um, or based off a of famous IP also also helps. So, yeah, definitely universal. What about you, Cedar? Um, I would probably say um, mine's also universal. Um, I have to say movie world, of course. Um, but no, I think universal in terms of like graphics and design is definitely one of the best ones. Yeah, I would agree as well. Um Panda, do you have a favorite? Uh, I'm kind of with Cedar on this. I've obviously got to say Movie World. Um, I do like Universal quite a lot. I have got some pretty cool stuff over there. But otherwise, I'm quite open to awesome. which ones are available. Awesome. All right, we will be moving on to the next question. So his first question is, when you first start making, uh, when did you first start making YouTube videos? Ah, gotcha. Uh, I first started making YouTube videos in, ooh, it's been a long time, uh, summer of 2019. Yeah, exact day even, I think it's like July 11th, 2019, something like that. So it's been, yeah, like five, almost five years. Yeah. What about y'all? Uh, do y'all have any, any YouTube YouTube experience, Cedar Panda? Um, I've made a couple videos, um, but I don't do a ton. Um, he said his second question is, what was your first ever Roblox theme park game? First ever Roblox theme park game. Um, well, I think one of the most popular ones uh, was and still is, I believe, Blocks World is probably one of the first. So it wasn't a very... Um, like it, it's not one we really talk about in our community because it's more of a larger, larger game, more focused on gameplay uh, than like immersiveness. Uh, but Blocks World and then definitely Universal Studios was one of the first. I also, I also uh, visited probably back in 2016, 2017. Um, and then I got uh, back interested in it back in 2019. So yeah, those are, those are the two. How about y'all? I'm just trying to think. I think my first one probably was Universal Roblox uh, quite a few years ago, and it was no longer yeah. the way it is now. Um, but I think that was my first one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd say that was the one that got me into the community, and I'm I'm highly certain that was my first one as well. How, how about yeah. you, Panda? Um, do you know what? It was so long ago, I can't actually remember. Yeah, the same but, um, <laughs> Universal, Universal was definitely up there, but I know there was one before Universal, which like, for the life of me, I can't remember. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Universal. Cool. And then so the yeah. other question um, they had, and they've just moved on now, but they yes. said their last question was, um, what ride are you most excited for this year? I think that's in Roblox and Real Life. Yeah, um, let's see, in Roblox, um, I'm fairly excited for uh, the the tram ride they have going at, at Movie World, which these guys know a good bit about. Um, and then I'm also excited, hopefully, uh, we'll get Web Adventures this year uh, at Thanks, Universal. Man. That should be pretty yeah. cool. How, how about y'all? Y'all have any? Web Adventures is definitely high on the list. The quality looks really good, and I'm really hyped for it to come out. Agreed. Um, Panda? Oh, I, I, I personally don't have any particular ones that I'm looking forward to. I'm excited for any rides that come out. Agreed. I, I, I agree there. I can't think of any in real life off the top of my head. I mean, I know the Tiana ride is coming out at Disney, I think, this year. I don't really know. Do y'all do y'all have any in real life that, that you can think of? Um, not off the top of my head. I haven't been to a theme park for a few months now, so I, everything probably changes in quite a few yeah. Um, but yeah, <laughs> nothing off the top of my head. How about you, Panda? 
Uh, yeah, I'm kind of the same. It's been quite a while yeah. since I I've agree. been to a theme park. I agree. I agree. Maybe it'll be more on my mind next month because I'm, I'm going to Disney next month. So may, maybe something will come back in my mind. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he says hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm seeing the, this message now. I didn't see the other, the, the last guy's oh, messages sorry. for some reason. Yeah. Web ride open. Um, if you're asking when the web ride, uh, web adventures opens, I have zero clue because I am not a part of the Universal Studios Roblox development team. So, um, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. <laughs> That's um, all we, know. we don't know I would, else. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Universal Roblox has a very uh, sporadic um, release schedule. Um, early in my YouTube career, I tried to predict it. It's not something that can be predicted. You just have to wait and see and hope. I would, I would say. Wouldn't, wouldn't it you should say? be soon. <laughs> it should be soon. Yes, we're hoping, yeah. hoping soon. <laughs> I remember reporting on that ride all the way back in like, like two years ago, reporting on it um, when it was a separate project from Universal. But yeah, yep. Fire away. <laughs> they have such a big team as well for. They do. Universal. I think it sort of makes you more excited for the rides um, because, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Disneyland Wales. I, rem I remember this guy from yesterday. He, he just, he named parks. Um, he likes, oh, that's a good he likes, park. <laughs> he likes naming parks. Yeah, I would agree. That's a great park. Wales was one of the probably second or third park I visited first um, on, on uh, Roblox, which got me into it. So, yeah, <laughs> I can agree. Awesome. Got quite the uh, quite the alpha going on, <laughs> and the classic movie world emblem, very nice. Oh, you biggest have a big fan. fan. <laughs> biggest fan. Well, I appreciate it. Will the VIP tickets in the parks include subscriptions like Universal VIP? Well, um, most most likely the VIP passes will be specific each year for each. Uh, each uh, PEC event. So you'll probably have to get a different pass for PEC Expo versus PEC uh, Halloween Expo. But I don't know, Cedar, uh, that's something we could look into doing a, a probably a higher price pass that could maybe be used for all PEC events, VIP wise. Uh, yeah, we could, the original plan was to do a sort of different subscription per event but we definitely can do maybe like a year subscription as well or like indeed a permanent one and yeah. definitely look into it yeah i i uh i definitely agree i think that's something that could be very beneficial to to people who go to most of the events uh for sure but yeah that's where we're looking at the moment but thanks for the question that sparked a couple ideas so you know appreciate it is Universal Roblox, uh, in Universal Roblox, what is your favorite ride? Hmm. Everybody's always getting on me for this, but my, my favorite ride, I know it's not open at the moment uh, that I'm aware of, uh, but Forbidden Journey has to be my favorite ride. It, it, is, is it still going to be called Forbidden Journey? Do, do y'all know? Or, is, or are they renaming it? It's an adventure or Forbidden. something like that, but it's very similar. Okay. So Forbidden Adventure. That has always been my favorite. Um, I, I just loved how immersive the ride was with the queue, um, obviously based off of the real life Forbidden Journey ride. And I rode that before I rode the Forbidden Journey ride in real life. So my entire experience of Forbidden Journey in real life was completely based off that game, um, which is incredibly impressive to me. Um, so I, I'd say Forbidden Journey or River Adventure. How about, how about you, Cedar? Um, I'm thinking I completely forgot what the name is. It's the one in like, it's not Jurassic Coast, but it's the other one. I completely forgot what it's called. Oh, uh, the the River Adventure? No, the other one. It's like the green roller coaster that goes backwards. It's oh, one of my favorite. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the, the Cavern Explorer? Yep, Cavern Explorer. That was yeah. it. Yeah, that's one of my favorite ones. Yeah. Um, it's a really it's a fun much coaster. smaller one, but it's certainly unique. Not many parks have a coaster that goes backwards and stuff. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I think it's a pretty cool coaster. Uh, Panda, you have one? 
Uh, Joe, you know, I haven't been Universal for quite a while. I'm just struggling to remember what's uh, there. Yeah. Um, I quite like the uh, the Mummy Rise. Quite a good one. That yes. was always uh, they just did a the reboot. personal favorite. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. That that one's always been quite a personal favorite to me. Yeah, I definitely agree. I think, I think, um, Mummy was actually uh, personally Mummy was the the ride that got me in back into or got me into doing YouTube. Uh, in general, that ride opened in like June of 2019, the original one. And I rode that um, and I said, well, this is it's kind of fun. Uh, why, why not throw together a YouTube channel? Um, and then River Adventure opened. Um, and that was like the first ride opening I really covered. So, yeah, I, I have a lot to thank for those two those two rides. Well, I just had one more question. Um, it was one more thing. Um, okay. Their favorite universal ride is Rip Ride Rocket. And then, yeah, that was it. <laughs> awesome yeah rip ride rocket's a pretty good coaster i remember when that opened getting the emblems and uh riding that trying all the different songs that was that was fun it's a fun mm -hmm. ride and great views yeah no definitely rocking the uh the uh, hhn shirt uh like yesterday <laughs> still i still love love hhm5 it's one of my one of my favorite hhns from universal roblox hi uh, how am I, uh, and what is the difference between Peck 24 and, uh, and Rappa, and what is the future IPs uh, and mascots? And I love your suit. Well, thanks for the compliment on the suit. I also, I really like it. Um, it's from Salient. So I think working backwards, suit, and then talking about IP. Um, if you're asking what IP is, it just means um, intellectual property. So like, for instance... At Universal Studios, they're able to make Jurassic Park rides, like the real life one. Jurassic Park ride, that's one of their intellectual properties is, is, is Jurassic Park. Um, and then, I don't know, uh, Cedar, do you want to talk about our, our event differing? Yeah, um, I was just going to jump in. I think what their question is, is what IPs are we going to have in Peck? Ah. Um, so Peck is sort of our own branding, so we won't sort of be adding other brands into it. Um, if someone has their own brand for their park, they can add that in their own booth. Yeah. Um, and that sort of goes the same for a mascot. If they want to have their own one, they can for their booth. But mm -hmm. us, we won't have like different IPs and mascots for Peck as no. a whole. It will just be for the individual people. Yeah. Um, um, and and I guess it's good to mention, like, if we, uh, if you went to the panel, you you, you would have heard that we we talked about. Um, uh, doing smaller events uh, for like group specific events, um, which will take place here. Um, similar to how we're just doing a, a PEC event, for instance, the the event would just be uh, for a group specific. In that way, yeah, they will be using their IP for those events um, uh, for, the, for the smaller group oriented. But yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going back to your first question, um, which was how is it different from Rapper? And um, the difference between it is sort of we're trying to aim this event more at the smaller parts. And we're also doing the Halloween one where it's only for like Halloween events. Um, so we're sort of similar in wrapping away, but we are making it different by having the massive conference hall. We're going to be doing the awards and having way more different sort of awards you can win with introducing the VIP game pass. Um, we sort of want to try and open the event to try and bring smaller communities into the game and also try and make them a bit bigger because there's loads of really good games, but they just need help growing a little bit more. So we're hoping Peck can help do that. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, I, I think something else that makes us stand out is that um, Peck is uh, focused on uh, immersion and gameplay a little more. Um, like for instance, the emblems that you can get, like being able to use that um, in any any uh, Park Expo Collective event and having them carry over is uh, uh, is something incredibly uh, new and, and hasn't really hasn't really been done. Um, so having that immersion aspect is something that's pretty important uh, to us at Peck. And um, yeah, I, I I'd, I'd say that's one of 
one of the more important important aspects. I guess also what differs is that we, um, we're also doing smaller events. Like we're not just doing the expos. We're also hosting a smaller events for groups to be able to market themselves um, on, our, on uh, the TPR channel as well as here on Creator Events through Park Expo Collective. Yeah, definitely. Um, they've also just said that I wish um, us three and all the team where well, we have an excellent day in future and they'll be here for us all. So thank you very much. Awesome. What inspired me to become a YouTuber? Um, yeah, um, I'd say inspiration probably came from obviously going to the parks, going to Universal Roblox, um, seeing the Revenge of the Bummy ride and seeing um, seeing the Jurassic Park ride and saying, hey, I want to want to talk about this. I want to update people. And um, I've always been interested in uh, video production. So that was um, really my first leg into video production was the YouTube channel. I said, hey, let's do it. Um, and then pandemic hit. And I used a lot of my time to really really work on the channel and uh, work on my, my video skills. So I, yeah, I, I'd say a lot of my inspiration just came from loving video production and also um, uh, Universal Roblox in general um, gave me that that inspiration. Um, I don't know, uh, Cedar, I, I know you do some YouTube. Do you have any, any inspiration? Um, I think the sort of inspiration was wanting to have somewhere I could post what I enjoy doing. Um, so like hosting Roblox events and things like that. Yeah. yeah agreed. <laughs> what is the next big thing for the channel? Well, I definitely say our next big video, we're going to be doing attraction reaction video hopefully soon, uh, sometime next week, maybe the week after. And then um, we'll have the this month in TPR video at the end of the month, uh, uh, summing up news for the entire month for the theme park uh roblox community and then after that you know we do that again for may um and then in june of course we have peck 24 expo in june 8th through june 9th so that'll be that, that's, that's the main thing coming up uh for the tpr channel i appreciate uh everybody coming on to ask uh questions and we hope that you enjoy the uh the rest of your day here at peck uh, 24 Fan Fest exhibition. Thank you everyone for coming today. Um, we are doing the Movie World Q and A in a little bit as well, so yes. then we will want to join us. Yes, and join be... the same area. All right. Well, we will be moving into the Movie World Q and A here in a second. Uh, but thank you all for coming.